Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. In the previous video, you have learned about the internals of a pressure vessel, right? If you have not learned it yet go through that first and then come to this video. This video will give you a strong background about the external elements of a pressure vessel. If you have started the series on a pressure vessel, follow in this order to understand it properly. First, cover the pressure vessel introduction. Then learn about the design standards of pressure vessel. After that come to the internals of a pressure vessel and later. Cover the external elements of a pressure vessel. Now, let us see how many external elements are there in a pressure vessel. The external elements of a pressure vessel are clip, davits, lifting devices, platform, ladder, insulation, fireproofing, skirts, saddles, and anchor bolts. Now, let us see on which basis we select the externals of a pressure vessel. The selection of external element is based on different reasons. Reason can be erection, operation, maintenance, heat conservation, personal protection and support of different component. Let's see the first external element of pressure vessel, which is clip. Clips are the attachments, which are welded to either the shell, or the head of the vessel for bolting the brackets for pipe supports. The clip is attached to the pressure vessel to support the following components like piping support, ladder installation, platform, fireproofing, and insulation. You can see where clips are placed in the given figure. The size of the clip and bolt depends on the size and load of the components. Normally these clips are designed by structural department. If clips are welded on the vessel, the vessel must be checked thoroughly to avoid shell buckling. And local loads transmitted to the shell should not affect the shape of a pressure vessel. Shell buckling is a subtopic of nonlinear shell theory. You know what shell buckling is? It is a phenomenon that occurs when the cylinder fails in compression, substantially before the ultimate compressive strength is reached. It is a function of the geometry of the item and is affected by imperfections in shape. Now, we will see the second external element of a pressure vessel, davit arms. The davit arm is ideal for securing the blind flanges for pressure vessel openings. In fact, it's useful when a worker is placing another object for screwing or other uses and needs something to hang the object. Davit arms are used during the maintenance and cleaning of a pressure vessel. Now, let us see what are lifting devices. Lifting devices are the third external element of a pressure vessel. They are used to lift heavy vessel and place it in their vicinity. Lifting devices are Lifting lug Trunnions And lifting covers The lifting accessories are used for the transportation and erection of a pressure vessel. Vessels are erected by means of single cranes, multiple cranes, etc. There are many unique challenges faced during the lifting of thick-walled and thin-walled vessels. Mainly, for vertical pressure vessels, accessories are located on the head of the vessel, and for horizontal pressure vessel, lifting lugs are attached on the shell. There are various forces exerting on the lifting lug. You can see it in the figure. Let us see what trunnions are. Trunnions are alternative to lifting lugs. Trunnions are usually employed on large diameter, thinner wall vessels with significant lift loads. Because they provide more stability. And are stronger than lifting devices. It can be used to lift a fraction tower. Now, let us see what lifting cover is. A lifting cover is a lifting attachment, mostly used for the erection of large diameter and, heavy vessel. Basically, custom engineered lifting blinds or lifting covers on the top flange, of the pressure vessels, enables the lifting contractor in the field, to hoist the vessel, onto the foundation and anchor bolts. It is being used when welding any parts on the vessel is not feasible. So, bolts are used for the erection of the equipment and should not be used for top flange installation. 